Hi everyone, my name is Megan and I'm an Ascension coach with Twin Flames Universe and today I'd like to bring you um, your special reading, your perfect message from your Twin Flame. So I have three piles of cards here and you can choose whichever one you feel most drawn to. For the first pile, I have the Heart Chakra Stone. For Pile 2, the, the Crown Chakra. And Pile 3, the Solar Plexus Chakra. And you can choose by the stone, the number, or just whichever pile really draws you in. Just take a moment to take a deep breath and let your intuition guide you to the perfect card for you. You can take a moment to pause the video if you'd like, so that you can choose. For those who are ready, we'll start with number one, the heart chakra. All right, so for those who chose number one, your two cards are listen and giving and receiving. And the message that I'm getting from this is to really listen to what your heart's telling you. And this is especially with in giving and receiving, knowing that it's safe to listen to your heart when it doesn't feel good to give anymore or when you do feel called to give. It's safe for you to say no. And your heart is that indicator. It's always telling you the way to go. It's always giving you that perfect guidance. And you can trust it. And it's good to have the balance of giving and receiving. You can't give from, a, from an empty cup. And it's important that your happiness and your needs and your desires do come first. And that does set an example for others to not rely on anyone else to be their source. No one is your source. You receive all of your good from God. Not your twin flame, not anyone in your life. God is who you receive all of your good from. When you make that your priority to receive from God and to give from that place, that's an infinite source of love then you can give so much more and from a really open and unconditionally loving place and you'll know when it's the perfect time to do that by listening to your heart listening to when it feels good to give when it feels good to set a boundary and say I don't want to give here anymore because that's loving yourself by knowing and respecting what you need. Yeah. And I'm also getting that it's safe to receive from other people, to receive help and guidance from other people in your life. Because sometimes it's really God giving it to you through those people, giving you that guidance, that reassurance, or that love that you really need, that support that you're calling in, and really listening to where it's coming from and allowing it to, to come by opening your heart. Yeah, when you really open your heart and truly listen, you can receive so much more. There is so much guidance and there's so much love here for you. It's just about being open to receiving it, knowing that you're worthy of being loved, worthy of receiving. It's not all of your responsibility to give. Only give when you're called. 
That's what listening to your heart is all about. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. If that message resonated with you, please leave a comment below. Thank you so much. We're going to move on to number two. For those who chose number two, the crown chakra, your two cards are flow and awaiting results. What I'm really getting from this card, from these cards, is not to put your life on hold and to wait for something or for someone. You don't have to wait for happiness. You don't have to wait for something to happen for you to live your life and for you to experience joy and for you to move forward. You're, you're, you already have everything that you need to experience joy and to experience your life. You never need to wait on anything. There's nothing outside of you that you need to wait for. And if you're waiting for something to happen in your relationship with your twin flame or you're waiting for something to happen in your life purpose if you're waiting for something to happen you're going to be waiting for a long time and that's not what's really going to give you your happiness your happiness starts now by choosing it choosing to follow your heart and to flow with life wherever it's leading you and sometimes it looks like it's taking you away from what you desire but that's not really true and you'll know by tapping into your heart where it's really leading you, if it's leading you deeper into what is truly for you by the peace and the love that you feel. And you can always follow that peace and follow that love. And that's taking you deeper into your harmonious twin flame union. It's taking you deeper into your life purpose. It's taking you exactly where you need to be. And you don't have to stay stuck in one spot and stay stagnant. And it doesn't feel good. You never have to put your life on hold because your happiness is first. And that's truly what brings what you desire to you is by living and being free and allowing it to come to you. You don't have to wait for that to happen. You can just live your life and enjoy it and it will naturally be attracted to you. What you desire is for you, and it's coming. You don't have to keep a lookout for it. And know that in following your heart, in following that flow, that you grow so much. And it's taking you right where you need to be. Yeah, it's never too late to follow your dream. Nothing really limits you but what you believe. And you can let go of any limiting beliefs right now. Doesn't matter about your financial status, your really anything. Those are things that can be worked through by healing your heart and taking the next step forward that you're guided to that's all that matters that dream has been planted within you for a reason because you're meant to follow it you're meant to flow to it your heart has always been calling for it it's where you're designed to be you never need to stop yourself from following love's call exactly where you should go thank you so much for tuning in leave a comment if that resonated with you and we'll be moving on to number three all right for those who chose number three the solar plexus chakra 
Your two cards are sadness and isolation and clarity of belief. And this is perfect that this is arising with the solar plexus card, which is all about your, your power and claiming your power and your confidence. Whatever you're going through right now, know that this is... It's not just um, like a breakdown. You're really, you're breaking through something right now. You're coming into your next level and this is part of it is shedding everything that, that you thought you were, everything you identified as. You're not the pain or the past that you experienced. You're the soul and the love inside. And this is just part of that process is going through all those feelings and loving yourself there and releasing them so that you can rise into love and rise into that next level that's for you. And this is helping you get more clear on your beliefs. It's clearing the way. Just let love guide you in this place. It's taking you exactly where you need to be. It's only temporary. And this, through this sadness, you're being led to an even greater joy. Yeah, knowing that it's safe to follow your heart, it's safe to go where love is guiding you and know that this is a new beginning for you. A way for you to open to something so great. You have to let go of all those limiting beliefs that have kept you from receiving everything you desire. And once you let go and you make space, so much love can arrive and can lead you out of this darkness. This is just that process of that love dissolving all those illusions. And as you love yourself exactly where you are, with compassion and understanding, by bringing your presence to all those places, you're bringing your love there. Knowing that it's perfect where you're at right now, and you're coming out of it. Every step you're taking, no matter how small, is bringing you closer. Yeah. You can let yourself surrender. Yeah, thank you so much for tuning into this reading. If this resonated with you, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. And thank you so much. Bye.